Hi, my name's Gwyn McCormack. I'm the director of Positive Eye in the United Kingdom, and I deliver really practical courses and resources, create and design my own resources and products to support the needs of children and young people with a vision impairment. I travel internationally doing that, and everybody loves the enthusiasm and energy I bring with me. Positive looking. Positive Looking Rocks. Positive Looking is a programme which supports schools to incorporate the development of visual skills across the curriculum inclusively. It really doesn't have an age attached to it. It goes across all ages and all abilities and all needs. It's anybody anywhere who has a vision impairment that might affect their access to learning, to daily living skills, to the world around them. It has become incredibly popular. And I just want to share a little bit about the programme with you and the difference it's making. It's creating change in practice because it's simple, it's doable and it's possible by everybody. And it just is using low cost resources, things you can buy from the pound shop, the dollar store. So what is the Positive Looking Programme? The Positive Looking Programme covers visual skill areas. And these are them, visual awareness, attention, localization, fixation, tracking, transferring gaze, scanning, visually directed reaching, visual discrimination and recognition of objects, visual discrimination and recognition of images and details in pictures, and identification and perception of patterns and numbers. So in the actual programme, I like to have things in a nutshell. So I have given a very, very brief, quick nutshell explanation of each visual skill area on one page. I want vision to be included. I want vision to be pushed up the agenda because it tends to sit at the bottom of the agenda for the child. But vision is a major way we understand the world. It's a major sense, yet sometimes it's the most overlooked. So I want to push vision up the agenda and help everybody to think about vision first. So if you make the child, young person, adult, with vision impairment, the starting point for your planning, what you find is that actually a lot of the strategies you might use for that child, young person or adult, will actually be really appropriate for other learners that you're supporting. And that's how we help push vision up the agenda, by planning in the first instance and thinking about those children first, rather than thinking of them as an add-on. We need access to learning to be happening in the classroom all day, every day. Because remember, vision is the major way we understand the world. It's the major sense over and above all the other senses put together. It's vision that gives us the access to the world. Yet it's often the forgotten sense. The so positive looking is supporting schools, supporting professionals, supporting everybody who works with children, young people and adults to think differently. It's all possible, doable by us all, every day, all day. The programme works by making it easy for you to promote visual skills. It gives lots of practical activities, goals, resource ideas and observation points. For each visual skill area they are colour coded and they have an explanation about the, uh, what, the, what visual attention is, keeping it in a nutshell, but giving some explanations of what we mean by visual attention, what the child might be doing. It sets some goals, it gives some activities, some ideas. These are just suggestions. You don't have to do these in order. You don't have to do them um, all. They're just to cue you in to the type of thing to think about. And then the thing that everybody loves are the observation points. What should they be doing with their eyes? How will I know they're attending? What will they be doing? 
What will I notice? Again, I am always putting things in language that I think is accessible to us all, not academic language, making it possible and doable. At the end of each visual skill section, there's a recording sheet. And these are all in words, so you can download them. Um, and you can put the goal in that you're going to do and change it, put the activities you're going to do, the resources you need. And then I've just moved all the observation points into this recording sheet to make it easier. And the observation points enable data to be recorded for individual children, young people or adults. It forms the basis for further discussion. And I know that people have really loved the observation points and the recording sheets and the data gathering spreadsheet. How does positive looking assist you? Well, it's used by class teachers, teaching assistants, teachers of VI, paraprofessionals. It's used from Australia to Iceland. In America, it's making its way so successfully in America now. It really is an international product. It increases the confidence of staff. It makes it easier to promote visual skills within the curriculum. It makes it easier for visual skills to be incorporated by the class team or the team around the person and inclusive of parents. I have done lots of training for parents on positive looking. I'm really delighted that consultant ophthalmologist, Professor Rachel Pilling, worked really closely with Bradford Special Schools and she saw the difference positive looking made. Rachel says vision plays a huge part in learning. So accessing it needs to be part of the everyday curriculum and not just something that's applied for an hour a week. Positive looking is brilliant, says Rachel, because it can be used not only by experts, but by teachers who are not specialists in VI. And it can be applied to the whole classroom to enhance the learning of all children and young people who have various different special needs. The Rachel goes on to say that she's noticed not only improvements in the development of the children, but an increased confidence amongst teaching staff and more accurate reporting of progress. She says that positive looking has given teachers and paraprofessionals or teaching assistants the assurance to work with the children every day to stimulate visual skills and enhance learning in the classroom and beyond, helping children, young people to access the curriculum. So now I want to share a short video from lead teacher of VI, Yvonne Smith from Bradford. So in this short clip, she explains the impact of using positive looking on children's use of vision and the difference it's made to staff's confidence. So in Bradford now, two years later, we have something called Vision for Learning in all, in all our six special schools. Um, if it wasn't for positive looking, we wouldn't have been able to launch it as successfully. Positive looking was the first thing that we brought into the schools. It was easy to use, it was user friendly, it gave us data and schools took it on board very quickly. In the special schools, we have a vision lead in each of the six schools um, and several vision champions, one for each class really, in the special schools. Um, the vision champions actually do the work. Um, the vision leads usually liaise with me and the vision champions. It has had a massive impact on how our children use their vision. Um, our ophthalmologist actually said to me recently, what a difference two years has made, because the staff can talk about vision. When I go in, they can tell me exactly what targets the children are, are working on, how they're working on them, what resources they're using. They can show me their observations. So over time, I can get a clear picture of where each child is working. It's also helped us to identify those children who are not on my caseload, but are still in the special schools struggling with their vision. So the vision champions now have enough knowledge um, to actually flag up children and say, can we look at this? So one example is that we, um, we use um, 
communication aids in our special schools. And in two separate schools, Vision Champions have questioned the size of the symbols being used, that they were much too small and the children actually couldn't see what they were pressing. And so we've used positive looking to actually determine what is the optimum size for those symbols. Um, and we've liaised with the speech and language therapist to, to change what's happening on the communication aid. So it's not just helping the it is helping the children and obviously we can show progress, but it's upskilling the staff and vision is now a priority in our special schools. So we're up there with behaviour, autism, literacy. We have a vision for learning group now in each school. Um, and that means that we can have joint training, we can network with each other um, and it all hangs around positive looking. The progress now after two years is starting to come through because the children we work with don't have, they don't make progress very quickly generally, um, but um, we have seen progress in individual children and the schools actually like positive looking because we can show progress, there is the, the chance to collect data at the end, um, so yes we have seen progress. And I want to share an excerpt from an interview with Jade Cracknell a special school teacher using positive looking in Bradford. We've used positive looking for three years now. Um, I went on a course with Gwyneth four years ago and we're just really interested in the um, opportunities it, it gives for our children in, in our school. Um, our children are a really um, low level of cognition um, and understanding and um, severely disabled, um, severe medical needs, complex medical needs and visually impaired on top of that. So I think addressing the visual impairment first is, is really important and having them access to the environment that, to put them on the same level as the other children has been a great benefit of positive looking. So it's been really empowering for all the staff members because we use it as a tool for everybody. Everybody can use it every day. So it's not just a job for the VI team to come in and use, it's a job for um, everybody and particularly the, the adults that know the children really well. So they'll be able to feed back and say how much progress a child's made or how much more visually alert the child is on that day. Or they might be able to do the other way and say actually he's not very well today, he's not using his vision very well, so we're just going to focus on tactile learning. Jade really is a great advocate for positive looking and really she inspires me when she said to me one day, positive looking is everybody's business. And actually it changed the life of positive looking when Jade said that to me. And finally, I want to share a video clip from Carol Pratt, a teaching assistant at a special school. And she really, Carol really loves positive looking because it enables her to monitor so progress. Um, the product itself is really simply set out. It introduces all the skill levels in a really simplified format. So from teaching assistants, teachers, um, heads everybody can look at it and know exactly where they want to uh, focus on we can use the intervention plans to set out goals and targets that are easily um, adapted to individual children dependent on their disability and skill level i've been using it now two years in school um, and each half term as i say I evaluate the progress and by using the um, graph that comes with the positive looking program, I can plot progress for the children which is then easily accessible for teachers and can be used to help set um, targets for their ILPs, used annual reviews, it can show where the children are making progress whereas before it was difficult to show actual visual skill progress. Let's wrap it up, positive looking rocks, it pushes vision up the agenda by increasing access to learning, to daily living, to the world around us. It makes the incorporation of visual skills easy, easier because staff's confidence is increased, parents' confidence is increased. It gives common language to increase communication between the class team and the teacher of VI or the professionals involved. And there is more engagement, improved engagement with the curriculum because access has increased. 
there's a more holistic picture of the learner possible to inform outcome planning. Positive looking rocks. Thank you for inviting me to participate. <laughs>